Hello and welcome. This is Katie. Thanks so much for stopping by. I'm excited to be back with another quick project from Imagine Crafts. This time we're going to make a Mother's Day card. And I've got some stamps that I'm going to use from Simon Says Stamp Incredible Woman. I've got a coordinating die for that as well. And then I'm going to use the Pink Fresh Studio Blooming Bouquet stamp set with that lower uh, right floral image there. And I've got some Fabriano Artistico hot press watercolor paper that I'm going to use. Any hot press watercolor paper will work uh, because we're going to make our own uh, shimmer cardstock. The inks I'm going to use are Angel Pink, Gray Flannel, and Sweet Plum from Memento. And I'm going to start off by spritzing my panel first and something's wrong with my nozzle in this so I just got as much of the spray down on the cardstock or the watercolor paper as I could and then I'm gonna I'm spreading it around with my finger but then I realize I don't want all that streaking I really just want an even shimmer as even as I can get so I'm taking a fan brush and lightly gliding across the shimmer spray and I'll go in a couple different directions I really like I said don't want the line so I'm trying to keep it really light as I drag the brush across um, and then I do recommend the watercolor paper because it's going to minimize your warping because we're using a liquid spray so now I'm going to come in with the angel pink once our panel is completely dry I did trim this down to four by five and a quarter and I'm not trying to do any fancy ink blending I'm just adhering you know applying the ink to the paper and a couple different techniques that I always use you can do a figure eight motion you can do a circular motion you can do straight across like a scrubbing motion any of those work to um, ink blend and are going to give you really good results the other thing is your your paper I just find I get the best and the easiest ink blending when I'm using uh, watercolor paper and especially if it's hundred percent cotton so now that I've got my pink adhered down or applied down to the panel I'm going to ink up and I had, didn't realize I wasn't filming but I inked up already several times uh, in the gray flannel ink for our main sentiment for the card front and I ended up inking this up I think it was like six times it was quite a bit because I hadn't used the stamp before and I didn't really clean it off and so it was a little bit splotchy as I inked uh, so I just you know stamped it up several times uh, to get a clear impression and once we're done with that we're going to switch over to a block to add our stamping our floral stamping now I am stamping on a one of those stampers secret weapon the Sizzix uh, you don't need that just a thick piece of foam even your uh, mouse pad from your Misty will work uh, just flip that over so you're on the foam side and not on the uh, plastic side and now I'm going to uh, just ink up in the Sweet Plum Memento ink in all the corners just to uh, highlight our sentiment that is here in the center. Now you could just do the two end, the two corners, but I just wanted to try something different and do all four corners. And I think it turned out really pretty. I really just love the way that the pink, gray, and purple go together. Uh, it's a great color combination for any of your card making okay so we're all done with that stamping and then I went through off camera and die cut uh, the mother outline with a coordinating die three times out of some heavyweight white cardstock and we're gonna layer this up so that we get a kind of an eclipse technique I mean it's not exactly the same because you're die cutting out that word mother but we're gonna pop it up so it's kind of like an eclipse technique so we got a lot going on we got a little ink blending we made our own shimmer cardstock and we're doing an eclipse technique so I'm adding our front layer panel there stamp panel to uh, just a white layering cardstock um, I wanted to have a little bit of a border because I'm going to be putting this on a slate really dark charcoal gray card base uh, card size is an A2 size card this piece is just a, a white layering 80 pound card stock for the inside sentiment and here we're going to add our front panel to the front of our card 
and then we're going to do a little bit of stamping on the inside. The inside sentiment says, Happy Mother's Day, I love you. And that's going to be inked up in some gray flannel. And the stamps come from the Incredible Woman stamp set from Simon Says Stamp. And then once we get that stamped in, we're going to do just a little stamping in the lower right corner. I don't normally show this stuff on camera, um, but for the inside of our card, I did a second generation just so that the um, purple is a little bit lighter. And that is going to wrap it up, my friends. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I want to thank you all so much for joining me today. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll catch you in the next video.